So you notice your boy here, TJ back here, you know. Got a game Saturday and I just wanted to tell you how I put on my work. I mean, you know other people put this on different from others. So first you start with is your football socks. Yep, football socks. So my team is burgundy and black. So I have burgundy socks. And then you pull up your pants pads, which is these right here to protect your thighs. Your um, knees and your tailbone right here. I don't really have them strapped up right now. But if yours don't come with a string, nine times out of ten they will. You can just put a regular shoe string. Then buckle this up. It's like a regular belt that come in cargo pants. Mm -hmm. You can have these custom made by this company. I, I don't remember what it's called. My dad bought these. And then you'll put on your football cleats, but my football cleats are on my own mom car right now. She's on the way. And I already have a game Saturday, so let's get started. <clears throat> First is shoulder pads. So put it on. Some people they just put on their shorter pads in the jersey. For me, it's faster for me with the jersey and the shorter pads at the same time. So you have these buckles and you put it right here. Zinc was whatever that um short back on it called. They have the things that come like this and buckle in. But I just have regular shoulder pads. So you buckle those up. Then just like just like your pants pad, pull the string, tie it up. We have we also have a football um towel that's burgundy too, but I don't have that right now. And then you put on your jersey, just like that, just like that. And then yeah. I play for the Washington Redskins. It's not NFL, just rec teams. Then you put on your helmet like this. Some people take their helmet off like this. Hold on, hold up. I have a short, shut helmet. Some people, some players take their helmet off like this. Like one side, like that. But if you want, you you want to be like a be like a um NFL cosplayer. Just take these off, and then you just slide it on like this. Sorry, it's a little hard for me because I have my earring in. And then you strap it up. You can ask somebody, or if you're used to playing football, you can do it yourself. And then, last but not least, you have your mouthpiece. Now, some may, some people may provide you with these, but mine is one special one. Like this is not a one or two dollar mouthpiece, football mouthpiece. This is a twenty dollar mouthpiece. You can see the design. The fire emoji and the 100 emoji. It also has a breathable hole. It's easier to talk through if you quarterback, the running back. I'm a running back and a cornerback, so this is why I have to type in my feet. It also it has a strap, but I don't like putting that on. Then it, it has two different patterns right here, then on the bottom. And then you just simply put it in like this, see? Down, say hut. See? It's easy for them. So, and football socks. So, what I can ask you, the more skill on um, position, people, the players like this, like running backs, they like this. But like you're a lineman or something, they like it to go in their pants pads. I just don't like, I just don't like that way because I'm more of an athletic person. And... Where you're not using your mouthpiece, you can simply put it right here, or if you have to tap it. 
like my brother. My brother has this type of helmet. We have different chin guards. See, if you like, if you like have a helmet like this, I mean, your chin strap is like up here on these right here. These things right here. Then you gonna, you gonna have to take these two off. Cause if you take one side off, it just, that's more work for you putting this, struggling to put it back up here. So he, he, he has like more of a quarterback. I, I guess you'll say quarterback because like more space. I have more like a, I might say quarterback too. I mean, there ain't no Pacific type of helmets really. Unless it's like if you have a line down the middle and then line across. Of course, that's a lineman helmet. I have a, I have a, I guess you can call it some lineman number, but you, as you can see, I'm too small to be a lineman. I was lineman last year. It's only because I was strong and fast. I knew how to get by people, but this year I play more a skill position because I'm more athletic, and that's it.